What's up, guys? Jared back. So, SamMobile.com finally leaked Android 4.3 for our Samsung Galaxy S4s. This is, however, designed and built for the i9505 Samsung Galaxy S4. This, in my hand here, is actually the i337M, so the Canadian variant. Those of you with the AT&T variants, T-Mobile and Verizon, I believe you should be able to flash this as well. However, you want to keep in mind, though, that um, because this is actually AOSP Android and not a slightly modified um, AOSP version of Android, Android with uh, some different TouchWiz files in it to accommodate the S View uh, case. Um, you're going to need an AOSP based kernel. So before you flash this, make sure that um, you download this and an AOSP based kernel onto your SD card. This needs to go onto your internal SD card as well. So keep that in mind and just make sure you flash that AOSP based kernel um, just afterwards. Uh, that said, with my i337M, um, I do not have the ability to access Wi Fi. So that's gone. Um, also, you cannot gain root access with this particular ROM at this point in time. Um, you can try it. It'll ask you if you want to inject, inject Super SU after you uh, finish flashing it with TWRP. Go ahead and do it. Um, it'll just end up asking you again like it is here. So uh, at the moment, it is unrootable. A lot of people are waiting for it to be rooted before they go ahead and flash it. I wanted to just throw it on there just to kind of show you guys. Uh, there really isn't any difference. Um, basically, everything is under the hood. Performance updates, optimizations, things like that. Apparently, they've done a, bun they've done a bunch of things to um, uh, increase frame rates and, uh, you know, uh, sort of get rid of the whole dropping frame rates things here and there. So possibly there might be an improvement in gameplay. I don't know. I haven't bothered. I'm not going to be keeping this on my Galaxy S4. I'll be flashing something else right after this. Um, camera, of course, like we've seen in the Google Edition leaks, this is me. Hello, everybody. Um, camera is the upgraded Android 4.3 camera. That's pretty much the only visual change. This seems to be working for me, but I said, uh, like I said before, Wi-Fi isn't working um, and it isn't rootable. Uh, anyways, guys, that's basically it. Uh, if you're interested in Antutu, uh, Antutu benchmark scores, people are reporting um, that they're getting about between 20 to 26,000 points on Antutu. So um, if that's any indication to you, although benchmarks don't really mean a lot to me personally. I'm sure a lot of you, I've said that in many, many videos. Why? Um, that's basically it, guys. There's a quick look at Android 4.3. Pretty, pretty boring. Pretty, you know, that's anticlimactic. <laughs> that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll be posting a link in the description, actually, for uh, kernels for those of us with um, Canadian and uh, AT&T version a uh, variant Galaxy S4s, as well as um, a, a link to different um, radios for those of us with ATT and uh, Canadian uh, variant Galaxy S4s, just in case you need them for whatever reason. As you can see, though, LTE is working fine. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop now. If you like this video, click that likes button down below. Show me some love. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one in the future. And you can always stay up to date on all things the smoking Android by following me on Twitter and Google+. Plus. Those links will be in the description below as well. That is it for now, though, folks. Thanks for watching, as always, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.